Hey guys, it's Gameface, and welcome back to episode 5 of my Totten Karimo. Now, today's episode, gonna be playing some more games here. Game against West Ham to kick things off. Then we've got a game against Besiktas in a few days' time in the Champions League. Huddersfield to play as well. We probably won't get on to the next month yet, but we do have to finish off uh, September, first of all. Plenty of games coming up. Looking forward to it. It should be a good episode. And gonna be obviously rotating things around during today's episode with the team. Before we go any further, though, I'd appreciate clicking that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already as well. And that'd be absolutely fantastic, too. Let's Crack on things, let's take a look at the team. Butland starts in goal, Klein, Stones, the Sellers and Rose at the back. Gareth Bale, Henderson, Kearney, Rashford in midfield, Deli Alley, Harry Kane as our central attacking players. And let's go with this game. Let's hopefully try and sort of win, I suppose. Keep the winning streak going. We've currently got five wins from five, which is really good. Only conceded two goals across all, all competitions as well. So we've had a strong start. Let's try and maintain that here. Okay, then here we go for this game at the London Stadium. Let's see how we can get on against this West Ham team. Like I say, we're in really good form at the moment, but that doesn't really mean that much going into this game. We've got to make sure we get ourselves a good performance and that uh, we have everyone playing at the best. There's obviously another game in four days' time as well, so ideally just want to try and get through this match, no injuries, and uh, we can go into the next game, hopefully another win. Oh, terrible challenge on Klein, easy free kick early on. Gareth Bale in a good position here to cross into the middle. Can we try and pick out Harry Kane in a good area? Let's wait and see whether Bale can. Kane looks offside anyway, I think, yeah. Kane looks at Tom Kearney, great little one-two. Tom Kearney tries to get there, it's a poor shot on his weaker side. Easily saved there by, I think, Joe Hart. Really, a bit of a shame that he didn't manage to connect to that one better. Should have been a goal early on here. Go on, what a pass. Oh, there we go. Tom Kennedy scores arguably the more difficult opportunity. Great headed goal. Gets himself into the box, which is a great position for him to be in, considering where he starts off in his uh, formation. And a fantastic little run into the box. A lovely little chip that finds him. Flicks a pass Joe Hart, and we're in the game 1-0. 22 minutes in. Look at this little ball. Not really too sure who plays it. It's Deli Alley, I think. Little one too though, Tom Kearney, it's a fantastic ball in, you can't really beat that. And like I say, we're in front. No. Could have easily have been an equalising goal there, and Antovic there with a great chance to volley that one into the back of the net just a couple of minutes later. Good ball in, don't know how we've managed to allow so much space there though. Chance on Antovic, that's one all. Really poor once again, just left him free, you can't allow that to happen, giving him too much space and we're sort of making the same mistakes time and time again. This time we get punished, it's one all, and just eight minutes before half time, they've managed to get themselves back to level terms. It's disappointing because we really shouldn't be in this position, we have had enough control of the game really to be in front still, but ultimately we keep making the same errors. You see we don't win that header there with Danny Rose and then the ball just falls straight on out of it with no one really around him. Shoots and scores, one all. Henderson delivers into the box, big chance for us here, oh good save Joe Hart, Harry Kane gets the headed uh, chance but almost looks like Joe Hart had to go behind him to save that one. Go on Delhi. this has to be the chance, gotta be, it is 2-1, just slips it past Joe Hart there, fantastic bit of play between Harry Kane and Delhi Ali this time, now Ali gets himself uh, not only an assist, but also a goal now, uh, just a couple of minutes before half-time. Fantastic way to get back in front, obviously important we did that, uh, having conceded just a few minutes ago. Half-time, still in the game 2-1, happy to be in front, obviously. Um, should really have not conceded, I'm a bit disappointed by that, just our third goal conceded in all the games we've played so far, but um, yeah, we need to make sure we just extend that lead now in the second half. Yes, go on. So third goal, what a finish that was, I don't know who it is. I was guessing it was a centre-back, maybe Le Cellus? I'm not too sure number five is. Whoever, whoever it is, it's a great strike into that bottom left-hand corner. It is, of course, the Sellers there on his left foot. Fantastic bit of play. Little one, too, I think, as he went into the box. And almost the striker's finished there. Really impressive stuff. Picks it up on the edge of the box, runs into the middle. Deli Ali finally gets to him. And uh, there we go with that strike. That's Joe Hart, 3-1 now. Well played, Harry Kane. Wins it back in a good position. Kane just hit this one now. Oh, so close to a fourth one. Just thought I'd have a go because there was no one running forward. But Hart gets there. Go on, Rose. Give us something special here. Danny Rose. Still going. Good ball. Yes. It's another goal. The Sellers is on for a hat trick. It's 4 1, and the Sellers are that close this time with a headed goal. And the centre back just pops up, unmarked by the looks of it. Danny Rose just weaves in and out, gets a little bit of luck as well before crossing in, but totally unmarked for that post. And the Sellers have just added another goal to the scoreline. Two for him, four for us, 4 1, as Joe Hart dives the wrong way there. Uh, very impressive stuff. We're looking really, really strong here. We're just going to increase this score tally now, but it looks like in the final 30 minutes. Ali, big chance here. This could be five at this rate. It is. It's just so easy for us now. We're walking through West Ham. They look totally empty at the back. And uh, we are just completely demolishing them at home for them as well. So even more painful. I suppose by now they're probably used to it, in all fairness. Ing, Sessa Young and Madison to come on now. We'll take off uh, Harry Kane, Bale and Rashford. Give those guys a rest before the next game. It's Besiktas. 
Uh, there's 25 minutes to go, so a little bit of time for those subs to come on and hopefully have an impact. No. No. What a save. Well played. Okay, because I'm taking this game very seriously, we are going to stick Marcellus up front to try and get his hat-trick. Danny Ings is going to go sitting behind him. I say sitting behind him, playing behind him. Tom Kearney and Ali now in centre mid with Henderson dropping into a centre-back position for the final 25 minutes or so. Yes, he's got it back. Marcellus! Ambitious. Yes, go on. Play it through. Big chance. No, Ockbon is in the way again. Yes. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, so close. That's it. Finishes 5-1. Unfortunately, we don't see a hat-trick for Les Sellers. But he got two goals anyway. He got himself a lot of breaks there. Uh, which is pretty impressive, actually. Uh, really impressed with how he did. He still had one or two chances, though, in the final few minutes, despite it being a centre-back up front. Uh, he did actually do a good job for us. Impressively managed to get ourselves a 5-1 victory. Uh, looks like it maybe a little bit tighter when it West Ham equalised, but luckily we pushed on in that second half and demolished them, really. 16 shots, 12 on target, 5 goals. Probably could have got a few more. On to the next game, I guess, against Besiktas. Now in the Champions League, good thing about this team is they've all got great stamina, or so most of them have fantastic stamina, so they're all going to start the exact same team once again. Let's go. Okay, so this is our second game in the Champions League. We won our first one, which is good. Uh, so did Besiktas, so both on three points at the moment. I'm first, they're second. Come on, let's get ourselves a victory here. Yes, what a ball through to Bale. This has to be a goal, and it is 1-0. Gareth Bale scores. Fantastic finish, actually, into the top left-hand corner. Comfortable finish for him. He's just completely free to run. Through on goal and be one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. 25 minutes in, it is 1-0. Lovely ball that was slipped through there by, I think, Delhi, but I couldn't quite tell. And like I say, just a comfortable finish for him. Another ball through, very similar to the last one. Can you do the same? Of course he can. Into the bottle left-hand corner this time around. 2-0, two for Bale, and doubles our lead. Just 10 minutes after the first one, exactly the same sort of ball through, really. Lovely slip through pass, and again, there's not really anything to contain Gareth Bale. He's just got too much pace. He's in such a good starting position over the fullback, and he gets there to him in front of uh, the fullback, and slots it around the keeper. No, good ball through. Ryan Babel, of all players, has scored against us. Oh, no. Ryan Babel has scored. How is he even still a footballer? How was he ever a footballer? 2-1, we've conceded again. Uh, not fantastic, but a great hole of play from Negredo, to be fair. He just manages to hold off John Stone. It's just too strong for him. And no one follows the run. Ryan Babel scored. Rashford trying to find Ali at the back post. Go on. Oh, so close. Approaching half-time here. Still means 2-1 at this moment in time. Hopefully, though, we are going to get a third maybe here. Ball goes in to the back post on Rashford, but tipped away well by the keeper. Half-time still 2-1. Need to extend that lead. Very similar situation to the last game, in fact. It's almost repeated itself, but I uh, hope we can go on and win 5-1 and put it that way. Let's just wait and see. I'm hoping we can with this exact same team that we had as well. No. What's going on? Four minutes into the second half and they've equalised. Two all. We dominated the first half and then suddenly they've had a couple of chances and scored them. Again, very much a case of just not following the man. Late run into the box. I think it's supposed to be Tom Kearney. You know, Henderson, in fact, is supposed to pick him up. Uh, but it doesn't. Don't know why Stones has left his position in the box there. Defence was all over the place. Bit of a mess. Two all. This will certainly make for an interesting second half now. Go on, that's a hell of a ball. Is that off the post, unfortunately? Go on, Delhi. Still going and then loses it to Pepe. What a ball into that post that was. I think it was Klein who whips it in. Rashford who hits the post. Unfortunately, no one's there to get in the rebound. So close to getting ourselves back in front. What a pass from Gareth Bale. Finds Rashford who's free. Rashford to cut inside. Harry Kane turns, shoots, and scores. 3 2. We're back in front. Fantastic there. Brilliant switch of play from Gareth Bale initially. Finds its way back into Harry Kane eventually with 25 minutes to go. 3-2 and we find ourselves in front of this game. That's good. We've now managed to flip the game in its head a little bit. Uh, it's time to make some changes around now, but it's risky. I could do with a fourth first. Yes. Oh! Accidentally tried to chip the keeper and it nearly went in. Had to tip it over the bar and it's out for a corner. We are going to get this one straight into the box here with Jordan Henderson. Go on, big chance of Kane to flick on, and it's oof, nearly flicked in, if anything. Okay, no fourth goal just yet, but there's 12 minutes to go, so I think it's important to, to uh, sort of change the players around before the next game. It's Huddersfield, Dyer setting on Madison to come on, we'll take for Tom Kearney, Rashford and Gareth Bale. Give those guys a rest, like I said, 12 minutes left to try and add to the scoreline even further. At the moment, no sign that Besiktas are going to come back into this game, but that's usually when they do come back into the game. So we're going to stay on our toes a little bit and just hope that they don't score against us. 
Yes, go on, Delhi. Big chance, go on. Oh, what a save from the goalkeeper. That should have been four. Great save by the keeper. Let's have a look here. Yeah, it's his right hand or right arm, in fact, that just stops that one from Delhi. And Henderson now to deliver in. Harry Kane's there, but doesn't find anyone. No. Oh, God. That's not just happened, has it? Counter-attack. They've not done anything in the second half and, well, they not score the second goal. But they've not done anything. In the 90th minute, 3-3. Three, three. They've equalised. Out of nowhere, as I said, they usually do. And they have. Ugh, great. Oh, yes. Yes. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Delhi still has it. Still a chance for us here. Somebody. No, don't intercept it. Oh, what a save. Oh, my God. He saved it again. That's it. No, it's not. Still a chance? Yes, it is. That's it. That's definitely it. No chance now. Ah, oh, so many opportunities. Should have scored. Shouldn't have even conceded three in this game. I can't believe we conceded three goals in that match, of all matches. Sometimes it happens, but not the so few shots they've had. Literally four shots, four on target, three goals. Crazy, but it is the first time we have dropped points in this Chrome so far, so I can't be too down about it. It's not a loss or anything, but this game we should definitely win. 100% we should win that. Better team, but again, we drop points, and it's currently both teams on four points now in the group, so I'll make things interesting at least. We'll wait and see whether any team will catch us up uh, with maybe winning that game. I mean, Benfica and Leipzig also drew as well, so they didn't catch us up that much. If one of the teams had won there, that would obviously change the table quite a bit. Uh, but we are in a comfortable position, four goal difference, we're looking quite strong. Eight goals in two games isn't bad either. Okay, final game of today's episode, a few changes here for the final fixture against Huddersfield before this international break. Bullen, Stancy, Gold, Klein, Stones, Evans and Davis at the back. Bale, Henderson, Winks and Rashford in midfield, Deli Alley and Harry Kane going forward. The sellers on the bench, Trippier, Carney, Dyer, uh, Madison, Sessiong and Danny Ings on there as well. Let's go on with it, let's try and get ourselves another three points. Try and bounce back for the last game if we can. Uh, where, I mean, we, we just dropped two points, but yeah, we should have won it. Still won every single game though in the league, so we are on a sort of positive note there, really. Okay, we go, final game of the episode. Let's see, we have something against Huddersfield here. Obviously our team's better on paper. Um, but as we saw in the last game, it doesn't always count for much. So, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully, we can pick up some more goals. Just try not to concede three this time. Klein, ball into Bale. Big chance for Gareth Bale. Go on. Oh, saved by the goalkeeper. He's trying to slip it through his legs, but unfortunately, that didn't happen. Yes. He's actually onside. That's a fantastic goal. All my days, 15 minutes into this game, Gareth Bale scored again. He's now starting to pick up a few goals in every game. And it's a fantastic ball through. Didn't expect him to be onside if he was to get there, but he uses his pace to get onto the end of the pass. Let's watch that one again. It's an incredible ball through to him. Just gets around the fullback. He looks like he should never get there because the fullback or the defender has such a, a big start on him. But great pass from Harry Kane. Gareth Bale goes through, scores past the keeper. 1 0, and we're taking the lead. Bale again. Oh, handball, surely. Go on. Chance to Rashford. That's awful. Oh, that is awful. Rashford, chance to put it back across. This has to be a goal. It just is. It's Gareth Bale. Nice little head of one for him this time round for Gareth Bale. Brilliant play once again. Rashford with the assist. And we're starting to really open up Huddersfield and causing a lot of issues. Bale in particular just has too much quality for everyone else on the pitch. Just really, uh, every time he gets in front of the goal, he looks like he's going to score. Especially when it's Rob Green in goal. I mean, it's not difficult, to be honest. Members of the crowd could probably score against him. But it's pretty uh, comfortable header there. Rob Green should probably do a little bit better. But it's 2-0, 2 for two Bale. And we're in front by a comfortable lead. Free kick for us here just before half time. going to play it short to Gareth Bale, who's going to try and get his hat-trick. And he has done. Easy as that. 3-0. Gareth Bale completes his hat-trick in the first half. And I think he's pretty much just retired Rob Green from that. It's 38 minutes into this game. And he's still managed to get himself a hat-trick already. Uh, it's a great hit. Someone should probably block it in that wall or in that defence. Uh, but no one gets close enough to him. And it's a great finish. No stop of that. Right into the corner. And it's down 3-0. So that's seven goals now in the Premier League for Gareth Bale in just six games. So really, really good uh, tally. And I'm pretty sure he's going to remain as the, the top goal scorer in the league. Okay, ball through to Ben Davis, who's made a run forward. Chance now. Oh, how has he missed that? Oh, Ali's so close to scoring that one, probably should. 
Unfortunately, though, I think must have just gone over his head. Okay, it's half time, so we're still with the game 3 0. Catch a clean sheet for now. Let's try not concede three goals in the second half and see whether uh, we can come away with a clean sheet and a good scoreline. Uh, need to try and push on, though, and completely demolish them if we can uh, as we head into the international break. I might look to take Bale off, though, just to rest him, prevent injury, that sort of thing. Uh, but for now, we're all around the pitch. First two changes Cesar Young and Kieran Trippier to come on. We'll take off Deli Alley and Gareth Bale. Put Rashford in behind Harry Kane, so more central position for him. And we'll just go with that. See how we get on for the remaining 30 minutes. The third change might be made. I feel like we need to. Just really want Harry Kane to get a goal, really. Uh, he's not scored in a little while. And to be honest, I never really play well with Kane in career modes. Uh, having played at Tottenham, I think, in FIFA 17 and FIFA 16, I think, on those career modes as well. He never did very well for me on those, just because he doesn't have the pace that I like in a striker. As good as he is in real life and as good as his finishing is, I just can't get used to the lack of pace, really. Uh, but we'll wait and see. Hopefully he gets a goal here. Harry Kane... Just as I talk about him, he scores and picks up an injury at the same time. That's helpful. He's literally going off now, he scores as well. So bring on Danny Ings. Didn't really last very long after his goal. Literally, as he kicked the ball, he picks up an injury. Hopefully it's not a long term. We'll wait and see after the uh, end of this game. But he's celebrated okay, isn't he? So, I mean, he should be fine. But yeah, just a simple ball through, actually. Not something we've been able to do with Kane uh, in many matches this season so far. Um, as you can see, hobbling off. Having got his second goal of the season, his sixth game. It's not a great start. Easy, what a save. What a save, Jack Butland. Standard. I mean, he was going top corner, to be fair, so that's a hell of a save. Come on, Ryan. Pick somebody out. What a ball for Rashford. And he still missed it. What's going on with Rashford right now? It's a great ball into the box. Difficult angle, but you can't end up, you know, hitting it into Rose Ed from there. Is that it? We've won. 4 0. Job done. Another nice little victory for us there. Plenty of goals once again. Gareth Bell gets a hat trick. And a clean sheet, which is fantastic. Our only clean sheet of this episode, I think. Certainly didn't concede three goals like the last game, but uh, much better. Gareth Bale could have more goals as well. Uh, plenty of shots on him, six shots, uh, three goals. But yeah, just overall very, very impressive. Uh, it was always going to be a high-scoring game for us when they had Rob Green in goal. Uh, but there we go. Let's have a look at the stats. 13 shots, six on target, four goals. Pretty good return, actually. Uh, so, yeah, really impressed with how it done. Another three points added on to our tally. So, we remain on our 100% winning streak in the Premier League and get ourselves six victories from six. Looking really strong so far. It won't last forever, of course, but uh, it's just good to be in that position for now. As you can see, Southampton currently five points behind us. That lead's growing at the moment. Obviously, there's other teams still yet to play, like Arsenal and Burnley, but... Uh, Really impressed with how we're doing. It seems like Southampton, Burnley and West Brom. We find ourselves in the top six, which is pretty incredible. Bale picks up player of the month once again. That's two months in a row, I think, now. Uh, but no doubt that it's because he's scoring a lot of goals. I was actually catching up with him, to be fair. And Deli Alley's not that far off either. So hadn't realised he was doing so well. Good to have two players in the top three. Hopefully, Delhi can move to the second place very, very soon. But that's everything for today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. I'd really appreciate you clicking that like button and subscribing if you haven't already. That would be absolutely fantastic. Trying to push towards 20k subs right now. And I'd really appreciate you guys smashing that button if you haven't just yet. And let me in the comment section below if you are new around here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.